Hello guys, welcome back. It's Easy Electronics Channel with you today, and we have another video. A ZVS driver. This guy, uh, right? Huh. So, pretty much what this thing is. It's a two MOSFET uh, configuration that I have, uh, thick, thick wires, and it's amazing. It is pretty good, but not as good as I want it to be. And by the looks of all these components on the table, you're going to make something much, much better. So if you don't recognize this power supply, I would suggest you watch uh, those two videos, part one and part two. I will link it up there. So pretty, pretty much it utilizes a ZVS driver to produce extremely high voltage. Uh, so as you can see, there's two flyback transformers in there and uh, a ATX power supply. And this is a uh, ZVS driver right here. So this guy, uh, yet less powerful, uh, because I tuned it uh, for this specific uh, ROC circuit, it actually outperforms uh, the much powerful one I showed you on the table. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Actually, this capacitor right here is the whole reason this thing even works. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to watch it, uh, I will put it in cards for you up there to watch it so this thing is pretty powerful and um, I'm just trying to make a version uh, 3 uh, so this is the first version uh, it's pretty basic uh, neon white bulbs for protection and everything else I, I actually like this one uh, the second one outperforms this one just because it's tuned uh, in the right way it has a separate uh, gate driver for uh, the MOSFET so it's just more um, more better <laughs> for that specific application and uh, we're going to make another one now this one will utilize not two not four but six MOSFETs and uh, let's see if I can get it into the frame these are 59N 25s I believe uh, these are 200 and some amp uh, pulsed current or something like 30 or 40 amps continuous so we're going to do some magic wizardry here and we're going to make this work now as you can see this is still in like early prototype stage i have no idea uh, how it's going to turn out uh, the components are just on the table um, i'm trying to sort out some issues in my head uh, with matching the mosfets and everything else so we'll have to do some um, messing around but uh, yeah like a whole bunch of parts I mean yeah I, I don't even know how it's going to work um, I am thinking of doing um, like a, a, a third generation gate drive so this would be the first generation just to dumb uh, down uh, driver resistors and uh, two diodes for protection uh, two Zener diodes uh, the other one uses a voltage a regulator for uh, the gate drive so no matter what voltage we put on the input uh, it always gives steady uh, 12 volts and uh, that also gives power to the fan as well and uh, that worked out okay in the power supply for this one uh, this will be a third generation uh, ZVS driver and uh, it will have an ability to switch between ZVS and uh, also it will have a hybrid uh, gate drive 
so it will utilize a switch mode power supply uh, and a controller so we will be able uh, to control uh, the pulse width and uh, the frequency as well as it will give us an ability to have uh, a sense line so we can regulate uh, the output so I don't know how well this will work uh, we'll build the ZVS first and then we'll slap on uh, a daughter board on top of it which will have uh, that uh, IC I'm talking about and uh, we'll have uh, some sort of switch uh, to uh, choose between the two modes and yeah that should be pretty cool so uh the driver I am talking about is actually this one, which is a uh, TL494, a good old um, TL494. So that's going to be just fine. Uh, I think that's going to give us exactly what we need. And in case you, you're wondering, yes, this is my parts. These are my parts, uh, resistors, and everything else. So, it took me a while to collect all of these things, but yeah, uh, we're we're getting there, and it's gonna be great. So, uh, the power supply uh, we're going to utilize will be this fellow uh, right here for its ridiculous. Uh, absolutely monstrous output AC and uh, this rectifier will rectify it to the correct um, voltage we need which is DC uh, the voltage do does drop under load it, it will be about 45 volts a uh, full blast uh, maximum of 2 kilowatts so, yeah, that's going to be some crazy action. So, the whole reason why I am even building this prototype is um, I want to experiment with uh, induction heating. And in order to do that efficiently, I need some sort of really powerful power supply, which I already have, and a driver. So I can't afford, for now at least, uh, to build two separate drivers because that, that would be just overkill because they're exactly the same and the only difference is uh, the, the driver circuitry. So uh, what I'm going to do is we will build a base and then we can either interchange the control circuitry or we can have a switch and have both of them at the same time and uh, choose uh, whichever one we need. That would be uh, really, really cool. So this combination should give us some sort of control. Have a ZVS, a dumbed down ZVS, which will have ridiculous amounts of power due to a whole six MOSFETs or we can have uh, some sort of switch mode controller which we can slap one of these uh, transformers on there and uh, we can monitor an output with a uh, small rectifier and uh, a potentiometer uh, to tune down uh, the voltage and we can have a regulated um, output AC output uh, so that could mean um, a pretty powerful uh, inverter or just a step up but to be honest for a step up I, I have something different for a step up which is uh, this guy this guy right here works just fine for step up function uh, one one and well can't say one and a half kilowatts but 1.2 kilowatts uh should you know it works just fine so uh that's really no problem 
but for induction heating uh, that's going to require some raw performance which uh, this driver should provide uh, don't get mistaken uh, this particular heatsink small yet really really good um, so it has a, a really nice thick uh, top section which allows me to drill and tap holes for uh, the holders for uh, sta I mean standoffs for the circuit board and we're going to put a fan here and a fan there and it's gonna sound amazing because they're run at the same speed and they s synchronize it's just really nice it's gonna sound like a VFD so pretty much we're in a prototype stage and uh, can't really uh, deliver you any more information as I do not know uh, what's going to happen I will be working on this for uh, next uh, couple of uh, weeks and uh, I will give you updates uh, when I have time so that's going to be pretty cool I hope you stay with me on this one and uh, that's it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like it uh, subscribe if you want to see how this project turned out and yeah I will see you in the next video stay tuned